the ego. What is it? And once it is identified, what should be done with it? I know that there is greater confusion around the ego and what to do with it than there is clarity. There is Freud's definition of the ego with the id and its other aspects. I don't want to get into Freud's definition because psychology is a limited paradigm. I am going to suggest that the word ego should have a new definition. The word ego should stand for energy generated organization. I will repeat that because it's worth repeating. The ego should stand for energy generated organization. Here we get into several things. One, the noticer beyond the ego and the noticed. Boundaryless, the creator, the source, God, boundarylessness. Boundaries. Hear what I'm saying. The noticed and the noticer. The noticer, the Holy Spirit, God, the creator, the source, whatever you want to call it. The noticed, the farm, the boundaries. I'm going to suggest, and it's really not my opinion, that the world of boundaries and the world of boundarylessness, the noticer and the noticed, do not exist separately. And here we got what I call, and maybe by others has been called, the cosmic split. It is the ultimate cosmic chasm that I have come into contact with. It is the world of boundarylessness and boundaries, the noticer and the noticed. Here we have the two greatest groups of people on earth those who are lost in their ego and lost in the world of boundaries but then the other group that wants to be in the boundarylessness world well I have news for you if it wasn't for boundaries you couldn't have a concept of boundarylessness I'll repeat that if you didn't if it wasn't for boundaries, if you didn't have boundaries, you could have no concept of boundarylessness. See, that's the split. The two are one. They do not exist without one another. I have come to the conclusion, and so have others, that the formless world, the creator, the source, the energy needs form and boundaries so that it can know itself. That's right. Therefore, I am not of the school of abolishing the ego, renouncing, <clears throat> excuse me, renouncing the ego. I am of the school of thought of eagle integration. In matter of fact, if it wasn't for the ego, you couldn't have a concept of renouncing the ego because language and thoughts, articulation, thinking are all constructed by the ego. You couldn't have a concept of renouncing the ego if it wasn't for the ego. You couldn't even speak those words. That's right. One of the more nefarious potentials for not having an integrated ego 
is the potential for massive mind manipulation. I absolutely believe that 100%. People who are boundarylessness are easy to control and manipulate, especially by a world full of liars, psychopaths, con artists, narcissists. A boundaryless person, a person that goes with the flow, you know, as I said that sarcastically, is the playground for people who love to manipulate. They would love to find a person who is boundarylessness and goes with the flow. Go with the flow so everything will come to me and I can extort you. Yeah, that's my views on that. And you would not even be able to notice the noticer in many ways if it wasn't for boundaries. This is the ultimate play in the universe. And if you pay attention, you will notice that the two greatest groups of people are those two groups, the people who are either boundarylessness and they're constantly trying to achieve that state of boundarylessness. And then the other group, of course, it's a spectrum, are those that are lost in the world of boundaries. See, the Spirit of God marries both of those worlds, the world of boundaries and the world of boundarylessness. The two do not exist without one another. Well, anyway, those are my thoughts on ego energy generated organization and that's exactly what the creator has done is organized all boundaries and all farm so that the creator the farmless could know itself so if it wasn't for farm the creator would not know itself and an additional thought, I do think that the human being is the interface to be able to integrate all the opposites. But the world of the boundary, the boundarylessness, the noticed, the noticer, it's the ultimate cosmic split in consciousness anyway those are just some of my thoughts thanks for listening and a transmission over and out Raj